yo, what's going on all my gamers, all my Genshin gamers? So I said I was going to do it, so I'm here to do it, chat. It is time to review the Natland story for the first part of the Archon quest. Now, I, I like to do these reviews of stories and tell you how good I think they are. You know, I talk about events and stuff like that. And now it is time for Natland. I told you how I feel about Natland. And now I said that I would go into the story in a different video. That video is this video. So let's start off. You know me. I'll start with the pros first. Then we go into the cons. So here are the pros. I think this story is very much akin to like a shonen anime. There's a lot of power of friendship, that kind of tropes. So if you do like that, which me, I do like that, you know, shonen animes are pretty badass. They're pretty cool. And uh, along with a shonen anime, this has a lot of cool fight scenes. I think my favorite would probably be Maulani versus Kachina. Now, I only say this because I feel like, man... May, okay, in my opinion, I feel like the Capitans and Malvikas was a little drawn out, but it is because, you know, the Capitan is that strong, and as such, it is going to be a fight that's going to take a little bit longer than the rest of them, but it is still cool. Now, you don't really get to do this fight, but you do get to watch it, the Kachina versus Maulani and the Malvika versus the Capitan, but, you know, aside from that, pretty sick. Now, the thing about this story is that it's kind of like a Dragon Ball Z tournament arc, right? You get to go through the part of the story where you're playing as Kachina sometimes. Other times you're playing as Maulani. You kind of switch between the two depending on where you are in the story. There's a legitimate Fortnite, a game of Fortnite in this. You go and you do a battle royale. You get to play as a, a team of Kachina and Maulani. That was probably pretty sick. I really liked it. That's where I found it that Maulani's kind of busted. I hit someone for like 500k or something. It was kind of wild. But they do give you to her. They do give her to you with about three constellations, I think. And everything was level 10. So, you know, take that as you will. You also get her weapon. So, I mean, you guys be the judge of whether she's broken because of how they gave her to you or how she normally is. I haven't been hit any big numbers with mine yet, but mine's is also not finished being built so i'm gonna get to that when i get to that now this is also i think the point where you realize that genshin has kind of hit its strive and where it's telling its stories i think that this story is starting off pretty well there's not too much background yapping there's not too much side yapping there is a little bit of it but you know they gotta pad the runtime i think i think this story is maybe about four to five hours ish saying and one thing that i really really liked about this is that now we're starting to talk about the abyss and and even in one point the abyss actually attacks because natland itself is kind of like in charge of repelling the abyss or at least because the abyss keeps attacking natland one of the two i honestly <laughs> i don't remember which one's which but it is kind of cool because you actually get to see an assault by the abyss coming into the real world normally you just get in there you walk around the world oh there's an abyss mage you know ab abyss mage jump scare but in this one there is an actual attack you have to repel them it's pretty sick <laughs> and i think all around it is a pretty good story so far but we also have to start getting into the cons and of course every con every patch will start off with this one con that will always plague genshin paimon still exists chat why doesn't the traveler talk anymore at this point in year 2024 where every mc is talking but the traveler i'm saying listen sacrifices have to be made chat if she loses her job as paimon you know what i'm saying sometimes the story just requires sacrifice i think it's okay because you kind of need to you know it's kind of suffering in a way in a bit because paimon's existence but it's more of a personal thing. If you guys still like Paimon, I I don't believe you, but sure. Okay, leave her in there then. Now, one thing because this is a shonen anime type of story, like I said in the beginning, it isn't going to be for everyone. Like if you like fairy tale, you're going to like this. If you don't, 
probably not. There is the power of friendship in this. You know, Kachina is down. She's dead, but she's not dead. Why? Because her friends are coming to save her. And when all seems lost, you know, the power of friendship comes through in the end. That's pretty cool. And, you know, because it is like a Dragon Ball Z story arc, you know, Malvika even turns Super Saiyan. That's pretty sick. I don't know going to lie. But it isn't going to be for everyone, right? And one thing I did find that's kind of weird. I don't know why this is a thing. And it's a Natlan thing specifically. Well, kind of Sumeru as well because of Nahida. All the more powerful characters seem to be small children. Like... The people who went into the abyss for the Nightingale, that's not what it's called, for the Night Warden Wars, are two adults and then two children. And you're telling me there's even like big buff people and all that. You're telling me that these two kids, these small children, Kachina, I understand she's kind of the MC. You're telling me these two kids were the ones who were the ones who succeeded a Kanich didn't make it. A random NPC didn't make it, but Kanich didn't make it. I don't know. I didn't like that. And also, that's also one thing I didn't like is that we don't know what happened to Kanich in his trials. He just loses and doesn't come back. We don't know why. They never talk about it. Me, personally, just because I like Kanich, I would have liked to have known what happened to him. You know, not here. Right? Anyways. And also, here's one thing for me is I feel like a lot of the story and a lot of the plot holes in this story could be just solved if someone ascended to godhood. It's like, oh, all these problems in that land and blah, 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 and the Archon. It's like, well, I mean, at some point, tradition kind of outweighs your people. And it's like, oh, we're just going to keep switching uh, uh, Archons and blah, 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 blah. It's like, I, I feel like at some point... Someone should have been the permanent Nat Natland Archon because your people are kind of suffering because of it. This is a nitpick for me, but it's like if Farina, they talk about, you know, a human can't do this unless they're cursed, blah, 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 blah. It was a nice callback to Farina. It's like, well, someone should have done that or someone should have ascended to Godhood because it's like, this is not going well. I don't know if someone can ascend to Godhood, mind you, or if they're just, you know, like that. But still, it just seems kind of weird. They shouldn't have had that. Now, because this is the beginning of a new region, you're going to get a lot of exposition. So if you're not into all the exposition thing, I'm sorry to tell you, it's a new new region. You're just going to have to sit through it. But it's not as bad, right? So I'm just saying you're going to have to sit through it anyways. I think that Kachina's death would have been a lot more impactful because she does die, quote unquote, but because of the Night Warden Wars, if you are successful in your campaign, you come back to life even if you died. Natland things. Anyways, I do think it, her death would have been more impactful had she stayed dead. I know you can't really kill off a character unless you're Honkai Impact, Honkai Star Rail. Wait, they do that a lot in Honkai. Uh, but yeah, you can't really kill off Kachina, I guess, or at least Genshin doesn't do it. But, you know, she dies and you just got to go get her soul back. It's fine. It is what it is. And this is more of a personal problem to me. But there are some technical issues where Atea in the story, the audio cuts out. That's kind of weird. Or right, here, let me show you like this. I look that old to you? <laughs> Classic Genshin oh, no, English dub, too. am I right, chat? Is Why is she 50 decibels time. too quiet? Also, one thing that kind of bothers me is I feel like Pascal just, his English dub voice actor isn't that great. I feel like he needed a little bit more oomph to his voice or something like that. And the guy's just like, well, Kachina, you know, you gotta, you gotta believe in yourself, man. You gotta do what you gotta do because you are a name bearer, blah, blah, blah. Like, it, I don't want that, bro. He, he doesn't look like he talks like that. He looks like he's in your face and, you know, he's a tribe leader. But after all my nitpicking, I do think this is about a seven. I think for a, a starting new region story, it's pretty good. It really shows a lot. It did leave me wanting more because I do now want to know about Malvika and her past life and how she got to where she's at and stuff like that. And hopefully we can learn more about Malvika. She's not like off somewhere else, you know. Someone spun, you know, they left a pretty good cliffhanger with the Capitan. We don't know what's going on there. We'll find out. And I guess either whatever we're patch on point one or point two, whatever the next story is going to be, maybe we'll get more into that. But as for now, 
pretty good stuff. Not going to lie. Pretty good start. We'll see where Natland takes us. We'll see where this goes, chat. Let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think about Natland. Do you like the story? Was it your favorite story? Was it not your favorite story? Did you dislike it? And why did you dislike it? I understand if you dislike it, but, you know, let me know, chat. I, I like to hear you guys' opinions. Anyways, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you gamers in the next one. Bye. In the